This snip is going to be a quick look at Visual Studio Code's built-in formatting tool. The document you can see on screen is actually the HTML source for the TechSnips website. I've adjusted the HTML somewhat to look less legible than it normally would be and to run the formatting tool against it we can press Control shift p to bring up the command palette and search for format document there's also a keyboard shortcut there of shift alt f on windows and on other operating systems it would show you the key binding for that system but if we run this you can see it very quickly adjusted the formatting of this document to look a lot more legible you can see all of the CSS and if we scroll down further we can see the HTML and it's a lot easier to read now but running the formatting tool manually isn't the only way to use it there's a number of user settings you can configure to tweak when the tool runs for example there's format on paste which if I turn that on and save my settings oh, let's say you have found some code on reddit but whoever posted it didn't do a good job of formatting it so we want to tweak this a little bit so we grab the code and go and drop it into our Visual Studio code as you can see it instantly as soon as we pasted it adjusted the formatting so that it's a lot more legible if you do want to go back and look at what the code originally looked like you can press ctrl z to undo that formatting and press ctrl y to redo the formatting i'm going to undo it again to show off the next way of running the formatting tool which is format on save so if I turn that on, save my settings, then come over here and save this file by pressing Control S, you can see yet again Visual Studio Code has formatted that script for us. The next way of triggering the formatting is actually format on type. So it will continuously format as you finish typing a line of code. So if we jump back to our demo after saving my user settings and you'll notice it's now reformatted my user settings for me when I saved it. If I jump over here and I start writing a hash table. So I'll keep this nice and simple. I do 1 equals A. I enter a new line and you can see that it's put spaces on either side of that equals sign to line things up a little bit. I then do 2 equals B and before I hit enter here you can see I don't have a space next to the 2 but I do have a space next to the B and when I press enter it's become uniform. So this will continue as I keep typing PowerShell or rather Visual Studio Code will keep formatting my document as I type which will help keep things legible as I go through. Now if you're working with PowerShell a lot the PowerShell extension for Visual Studio Code has a lot of inbuilt code formatting options which you can configure uh, as you can see as we go down there's ones for adding a new line after a closing brace uh, adding a new line after an open brace etc there's also a code formatting preset so I've configured this to um, OTBS or the one true brace style and to see this in action, let's create an if statement. So nice and simple, the actual content of this doesn't matter. If 
but if we say if true we'll return true and else notice it just moved that else statement up to the same line as my closing brace on the if statement just to show what would happen if I didn't have OTB yes turned on I'll go back and adjust that and type in false and put else back on its own line now when I run the formatting tool else stays on its own line and just to reaffirm that this is all coming out of the preset I'll turn the preset back on come back here format the document and else is moved back up to its own line that's been a very quick look at the formatting tool in Visual Studio Code. Thank you for watching.